Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Maria and today I'm going to be trying out one of the new releases from Dior. It's a limited edition. It's the Couleurs Tree Obliques and today I'm trying out Coral Glow. I also picked up the other one Minimal Rose as well but today I'm just going to be using Coral Glow and I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow blush and a highlighter as well. I've already got my foundation primer on. I use the Sicily Double Tensure one. And since I had a Dior eyeshadow palette, I thought I would put on a Dior foundation. And I haven't used for a while as the Dior Air Flash. So I thought I would give that a go and see how it is. It's the middle of summer here in New Zealand and I haven't used this since, since about spring, I think. So as usual, you gotta give it a bit of a shake. I'm going to apply it using the BK 101 brush and I love how cooling this is when you first put it on especially on a really warm day like today. There has been a lot of <laughs> new releases come out in just over this last week. It sort of started with these Dior Trio eyeshadow palettes and then Chanel joined in and there's just been a ton of new releases. The Dior palette, uh, both of them, I got from Selfridges and the delivery time was really quick. I find Selfridges really good. It got here in just on a week from date of ordering it so that's really quick from the UK to New Zealand. That is really fast service. So for those of you that haven't seen my videos before, I'm 52 so I have mature skin and I also have really oily skin and it is the middle of summer here and it is a very warm afternoon. This foundation is probably more suited, I love it, but probably more so in the winter than the summer. But I am going to powder it down. Now I'm just going to put on some concealer. I'm going to use the Chanel one. This is in the shade B30. Then I'm going to take the Sonia G Soft Concealer Brush and just blend that in. So I've now powdered under my eyes. I've done my eyebrows and also powdered my face as well. And as usual, everything that I put on my face today, I will have listed in the description box below. And now I also have affiliate links, which basically means if you click on that and you decide to purchase the product, I may earn a small commission from that, but it is at no extra cost to you whatsoever. So if you decide to do that, it would be most appreciated and go towards helping out my channel and the purchasing of future products. So now I'm going to put on some bronzer. I'm going to use the Dior Forever Natural Bronze. This is in shade 05 and I'm going to use the Tom Ford bronzing brush. So now let's take a look at this palette. It is made in Italy. It has 3.3 grams of product and like the Dior Quince, it has a shelf life of six months. I don't know why they last a lot longer than that. So here is what she looks like. I think the colours look really, really beautiful. And I did hear that when they put out the trios last year that the middle shade was absolutely awful. I never bought that, so I haven't got that to compare with but I'm hoping that these will perform really really well and on the website they also say that these are glitter metallic and satiny type of finishes they're probably more without swatching them I haven't swatched them yet probably more of a satin sort of shimmer type shade so that's what they look like anyway so now I'm going to swatch them on my arm so you can take a look at them so this is the top shade, this is the middle one and finally we have the bottom shade. Now I want to use the bottom shade as a highlighter today. I think I'll also 
it's a bit more opaque than a topper but I'll probably use it as a topper as well and probably to highlight my inner corner. So I'm going to take my Rafa number 15 brush and I'm going to go into the middle shade first. Is the middle shade on and it blended really well so whatever last year's one was like all the formula they used it's definitely different and this blended really really beautifully it's not they say it's ultra pigmented I wouldn't say it's ultra pigmented but there is pigment there and I do love the way that it blended I'm gonna put that same color under my lower lash line as well so I'm just using the reference number three. And then I'm still going to use that same shade. I'm going to take the Sonji, it's the mini booster. And I'm just going to put just a bit on the outside here. Then I'm going to take the Sonji Builder Pro and now I'm going to go into the top shade and put that over the rest of my lid that is a really really pretty shade it's quite nice trying out new products that are meant for the season that you're in these are a lovely summery look and it's great it's summer here in New Zealand so this is just perfect Well, just those two colours, I think, give a really beautiful look. What gorgeous shades of coral they are. Really, really beautiful. And there's enough so you can see a difference between the first colour I put on and the one over the rest of my eyelid. I think they look really, really beautiful. But I am going to with the bottom shade and this is the one that's got glow written on it. And I'm going to put that over the top of this shade here just to see what it looks like. But really you could just have these two shades, pop on a bit of eyeliner if you wanted to, mascara and that would be it. I think this looks lovely just with the two shadows. But I'll try it with the, this one over the top. I like this little time we have together just talking. So this is sort of like an opalescent type of shade and that just lifts it just that little bit more. It's a little bit more than a topper. And I don't want to lose that darker shade in the corner. So just grabbing the mini booster again and just, just building that up again. Because I just want to keep this outer corner with that darker coral. And then I don't often put sort of a highlight on my brow bone. Sometimes I do, not often. I will today. I'm going to use... A very fluffy brush for this though. This is a Sonia G. This is the Blender Pro. And I'll just put a touch again of that bottom shade just on the brow bone. And then I'm going to take my Chukahoto. This is the Blend Brush. And just blend that with the other shades. This sort of to take away any harsh lines if there are any. Okay, I think this looks really beautiful. I am going to put on some eyeliner and then some mascara and then we'll use this palette as a blush and highlighter. So for my eyeliner I use the Sisley one. It's the sparkling brown and I think that looks really good with the eyeshadow. So now that I've got my mascara on I think this is super super pretty. It's really gorgeous. It reminds me, it's very tropical looking. 
definitely very summery and what a great shadow to wear on such a gorgeous day as it is today. These shadows are beautiful. I think they are really, really gorgeous. When I first saw the colours online, I thought they would be quite deep and sort of a really deep coral with middle one especially I thought when I saw it online I thought it would lean more in towards the brown but it doesn't it's got the pigment but it's just very light looking as well it's really really pretty and I do like that bottom shade over the top of the top shade that I put on I think it looks really really gorgeous so now I'm going to put on some blush using this palette. So to begin with, I'm going to take my Chukahodo brush. It's the F03 and see how that goes. I'm going to go into the middle shade. I like this little time we have together, just talking. So you can see there's plenty, plenty of pigment. And it does, because it is a shimmer on the eyes, so if you don't like a shimmer in your blush, you won't, probably won't like this. Although I would say it looks fairly subtle. So even though it has got that shimmer, I don't think it emphasises the texture on my cheeks. Well that blended out beautifully as a blush as well. I think it's really gorgeous. One thing I did forget to do on my eyes is put the bottom shade in the inner corner. So I've just wiped down my reference number three and I'm going to do that now. And still using that bottom shade, I'm going to take the reference number 20. This fan brush is quite fluffy. And I'm going to use that as a highlighter. And it certainly works as a highlighter. And this brush is quite fluffy and it does put down quite a lot of product. Then I'm going to take the Sony G, it's a smooth buffer, and just go over that highlight. It is really pretty. It just gives everything. When you use it, it's the eyeshadow, the blush, and the highlight. It's a very sort of ethereal look. It's really, really pretty. So now I'm going to put on some lipstick. I've picked out the Wayne Goss one. This is in Cashew, and I'm also going to put a lip gloss on today. This is Pat McGrath one. This is in the shade Dreamscape. And here is the finished look with all my makeup done now. I love this. I think it is just really pretty. Such beautiful shadows. They blended so beautifully. They give such a gorgeous light look to the eye, but they still have that pigment. I think they're just gorgeous. And I think it also works beautifully as a blush and a highlighter as well. Overall, it's just really, really stunning. And I can't remember whether I said at the beginning of the video or not, but this eyeshadow palette and the other one, Mineral Rose, that I will do in a video tomorrow, they're both limited edition. So if you like the look of these, then it would probably pay to visit Selfridges and pick them up. They are really beautiful. I haven't tried the Mineral Rose one yet, but if it's just like this formula, that's going to be really, really pretty as well. So I'm thrilled I picked them up, and they are a great addition to my eyeshadow palette collection and my Dior eyeshadow collection as well. Just really, really beautiful. And the other thing that I like about this eyeshadow trio as well, and I do watch out for it in eyeshadows, and this is similar to the Quince, where 
doesn't seem to emphasize the texture on my eyes when you have more mature skin on your eyes some satins and some shimmers they can emphasize texture and I don't really like that look but these don't at all I think just looks very very beautiful and super flattering just gorgeous eyeshadows so that's it for today's video tomorrow I'll be putting up another one on the mineral rose so if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time bye